the Starship's integrated test flight finally happened. And the question on everyone's mind is how the launch pad performed compared to the first flight. SpaceX had to contend with several regulatory hurdles, including an environmental lawsuit, and make major upgrades after the first test, which caused major damage to Stage Zero and the surrounding landscape. So, how did these upgrades perform? After undergoing seven months of upgrades, Starship ascended into the sky for its second orbital test flight. This flight showcased numerous advancements and achievements not present in the previous one, thanks to various modifications aimed at ensuring a seamless and secure launch. The extensive modifications proved worthwhile as this flight surpassed its predecessor in several aspects. A pivotal element contributing to Starship's newfound milestones was the incorporation of the upgraded Stage Zero, particularly the Water Deluge system. Elon Musk tweeted on X, expressing satisfaction with the launch pad's excellent condition after the flight. Post-flight, the effectiveness of this new system stood as SpaceX's initial triumph in this mission. The Starship launch became a captivating spectacle, igniting enthusiasm not only in Starbase, but also beyond. The eagerly awaited moment unfolded as Starship activated its engines and gracefully lifted off from the launch mount, soaring into the sky. The subsequent separation process, facilitated by the new hot staging technique and mechanism, unfolded as another beautiful scene. The two stages smoothly detached from each other, showcasing the precision of SpaceX engineering. Unfortunately, the booster encountered a mishap a few minutes later, exploding in an unexpected turn of events. Subsequently, the Starship lost signal, presumably meeting a similar fate as its companion. Despite these challenges, the flight endured for over eight minutes, reaching a peak altitude of 148 kilometers. While the mission did not achieve all its goals, it is worth acknowledging SpaceX's commendable efforts. By simply examining the flight metrics, such as flight duration and peak altitude, it becomes evident that this second flight surpasses the accomplishments of the initial one. A crucial element contributing to the noteworthy achievements of the recent flight is the Stage Zero system, particularly the incorporation of the Water Deluge system. This addition played a pivotal role in ensuring an exceptionally smooth and successful launch. It stands out as one of the most significant and prominent changes made by SpaceX in recent months. Post-flight images strongly indicate the absence of issues with the orbital launch mount, and the surrounding infrastructures appear to be intact. Livestream units positioned near the Starbase confirmed that camera locations were undisturbed with no signs of rocks or debris. Approximately two hours after the flight, the FAA issued a notice, affirming that no injuries or damage to public property had been reported. These instances serve as compelling evidence attesting to the effectiveness of Stage Zero and the Water Deluge system. Their debut during this flight was remarkable and impressive, marking a substantial improvement compared to the challenges encountered in the first flight. The launch system has garnered significant attention and anticipation from both SpaceX and government bodies. The Stage Zero upgrade stands out as a crucial requirement that the FAA specifically mandated SpaceX to address after the challenges encountered in the April flight. Even before the recent flight, another agency, the Fish and Wildlife Services, demonstrated a keen interest in the water deluge system. This system became a focal point in their surveys and assessments, given its relevance to their concerns. These concerns are entirely understandable, particularly when considering the damage that occurred during the first orbital test flight. Seven months ago, on April 20th, Starship's first orbital test flight unfolded. The ignition of the engines on B-7 unleashed a substantial burst of energy that forcefully descended onto the concrete structure beneath the launch mount. The result was a spectacle of sparks. The Raptor 2 engines of the rocket possessed immense power, each generating up to 230 tons of thrust. The concrete blocks on the launch pad proved to be no match for the collective force of over 33 of these engines. Following the challenges encountered during the first orbital flight test, SpaceX undertook a significant overhaul, implementing over 1,000 modifications to address the issues that had arisen. One notable improvement that became publicly visible was the introduction of the water deluge system. This innovative system comprises seven water-cooled steel plates with small perforations on their upper surfaces, strategically installed beneath the launch mount. Precisely where a substantial hole had formed previously, these steel plates are a crucial element in fortifying the launch infrastructure. Connected to water tanks via a network of pipes, the steel plates come into action when the vehicle is prepared for launch. As the vehicle readies for liftoff, water flows from the tanks to the plates, spraying upward through the perforations and creating a cooling mist. 
The mist serves a vital role in dissipating the immense heat and pressure generated by the 33 Raptor engines while the vehicle is still positioned on the launch pad. Notably, the choice of steel plates over concrete represents a strategic enhancement in the protection of the launch system. Steel, known for its durability and resistance, proves more robust than concrete. It can effectively withstand the colossal thrust exerted by the Raptor engines, thus preventing damage to the launch mount and nearby systems. Following successful installation, the water deluge system underwent several tests, showcasing its effectiveness. Yet, the ultimate validation of its capabilities came during the official flight, and it lived up to expectations without disappointment. As the engines activated, water sprayed vigorously, and an observable change unfolded. The smoke layer generated appeared less opaque compared to the previous flight. This visual cue indicated the steel plates were functioning exceptionally well. It's worth noting that these upgrades were conceived and implemented in just a few months. In this relatively short span, SpaceX managed to not only address the issues from the previous flight, but also surprise observers with the newfound capabilities of their enhanced systems. The flight achieved remarkable results, including a longer and more stable flight time compared to the previous S-24 and B-7 mission. The success was further supported by the engine and hot staging mechanism. However, it is emphasized that none of these achievements would have been possible without the excellent start provided by Stage Zero. Challenges emerged post-flight, notably the explosion of the booster and the loss of connection with Starship. These pose formidable issues for SpaceX, requiring considerable time and effort from Elon Musk and his team for resolution. Fortunately, they can draw confidence from the solid performance of the Stage Zero system, incorporating the impressive water deluge system developed over months. This system stands as a valuable asset, potentially saving time and resources in future test flights. SpaceX's ultimate goal remains the achievement of a successful orbital launch and landing, and the developments in their launch systems underscore their commitment to overcoming challenges on the path to that objective. It will be exciting to see what SpaceX can come up with next to improve Stage Zero even further in preparation for the inevitable crewed flights in the future. What do you think? Is the current launch pad system safe enough for human passengers, or does SpaceX need to make further upgrades? Please share your thoughts in the comments below.